Welcome back to the garage. We're back at it today, working on the uh, door. screen done so what I'm doing here is working on this door frame so I've, I've shaped the door frame I've got the hinge across the top up here you can see it's all countersunk rivets through there so the hinge gets riveted down with countersunk screws and then the uh, windscreen goes over the top and gets fixed in between those spacing. Once it's all attached, the windscreen's not taking any strain from the hinge. So that's re really important that uh, we do it that way because uh, otherwise if you're fixing just through there to hold the hinge and the screen, you, every time it comes up and down, you're gonna get um, fatigue on that point and uh, you could end up cracking these or popping holes and uh, wouldn't be good so we fix it down underneath so it's completely rigid fixed then the screen goes on top so what I've done up here is uh, put these hole saw holes through so the tube goes through it's fixed there we also got brackets going in uh, there and also across the bottom as well a uh, fillet bracket and then down down on the bottom I've got two tubes very lightweight tube but what it's doing is actually stiffening up this whole bottom section so you get no flex in that bottom rail and then I've got this cover strip that'll actually go over the top and rivet down and across the top then the screen comes down over it and completely covers the door um, gas strut is fixed to here so these will just flick up automatically. So it should look really good and work well once it's all done. So we'll get into it and uh, see what we can get done today. This here is all finished, ready for deburring, uh, priming and riveting. So that's that uh, transition from the cabin door up to where the wing pickup is up here. And the wing, the wing spar mounts on here and the wing will actually taper into this section here and cover all that. So uh, it should seal it up completely. So it should look quite nice. So yeah, it should look really good once it's all done. Hopefully uh, gonna look quite sleek. This side's done as well. So this is ready for deburring and riveting that side panel um, and I've just started on the back here as well so we've got a triangle window going to be tinted as well going in here um, to finish off the back but uh, when you look inside with that on there it's actually huge amounts of room inside this. So looking here, the back seats are all the way back up against that gear. There's going to be a window in that triangle. And you've got all this space. It's heat on the outside. It looks reasonably small, but it's very deceiving. It's massive amounts of room in here. Are you picking up all the rivets? Yeah, picking up all the rivets. Arbors. 
cleaning up garage for this me. Here okay. comes in handy. It all it is is a uh, flat file that I've actually cut to size, glued it to a piece of MDF, and it just makes it so easy. You just you can hold it um, if you want to do an edge, file an edge. You can, it just makes makes life easy. Um, if you want to deburr a hole, you can actually just very lightly go across it and it takes the top off. And, uh, something as simple as putting a radius on a, on a corner, it's just just like that and it uh, works really well. It's only a very fine file, but it uh, works really well for the final because you want to make sure you cleaned up the edge there so that it's uh, nice and so bending up some uh, of the brackets, they're really heavy, uh, 125 thou or 3 mil. Um, there for the door uh, structure to actually keep the door rigid um, so that it doesn't flex once I've got the windscreen on. So um, you need a really large bend radius on uh, this sort of thickness. So my homemade bender that I've got here um, has got a three mil radius. So all my um, bends uh, up to about 40 fair is actually a three mil radius on the bends to stop cracking. Cause if you bend it too sharp on this aluminium, it can crack. So uh, three mil radius. This here is actually gonna need to be quite a fair bit more. Um, so just a trick I use with this is I bend a uh, piece that I can slide into the bender. It's got a uh, fairly big radius on it. And uh, I can slide that in there. I can then put what I need to bend in through here and bend it and it will bend it around that larger radius. So just a simple little tip but uh, I uh, just thought I'd show you how I get all the different radiuses on the bend. Okay, so there's the bend. It's got a nice radius on it. This one's slightly over 90 degrees. All right, guys, so got the door frame done. Um, you can see here I've got a bracket underneath. I've got a real heavy duty bracket here and it's riveted through. I've got that on all four corners, plus the bottom. It's nice and solid. This is the uh, point at which the gas strut pivots brackets. What I did with these, these brackets here, I've actually got a bent up um, L angle out of 63 thou uh, to support this because otherwise what it's doing here is if you just rivet this this point straight to the round tube you're only getting a small surface area to um, connect to here uh, what this L does is it actually supports it from underneath um, and the side and then you can rivet on so I've done that with all the um, brackets here so yeah it's time to put the uh, windscreen on see so I've done this one that one's already done uh, I'll put the gas struts on soon but I'll just get this um, this windscreen done first all right so here's a bit of a trick as well when drilling uh, polycarb or uh, acrylic and you just want to open up a hole so We've done a uh, pilot hole, so a small hole. And to open the hole up without uh, the drill grabbing and shattering the, uh, the windscreen, I've got a bit of a trick that I use and I've used over the years. Really works well. Um, I'll show you what I've So got the, uh, the drill, the tapping drill size that I want. And all I do is, 
run backwards uh, in that pilot hole. And what that does is it doesn't allow the actual, um, doesn't allow the drill bit to grab and shatter the top the uh, polycarb or acrylic. All right, so this one's clearance hole. Uh, so the screw doesn't actually uh, damage the polycarb. So I've got it in backwards. So it's running backwards and just very lightly. And that's it. It's opened the hole up. What it actually essentially does as well is because um, it's not cutting very well, it'll uh, slightly melt the hole. You're not going to get that drill grab and it's not going to leave a sharp edge inside that hole because if you leave a sharp edge inside the hole, that's where you get uh, cracks for, which can run. Um, so by doing that, completely um, stops any issues and I've never had an issue um, ever since drilling uh, polycarb or acrylic. So. Just another bit of a trick that I use. So this is what happens uh, when you actually open the door and you've still got a bit of overlap and you haven't actually cut the overlap off yet. So it actually had a clicko in there. Open, open the door and uh, spat out the uh, corner of the plastic. So cut another one, put it in and we're all good. So what I'm actually going to have here is I'm having these um, wafer screws up and they're going to be spaced at uh, 100 mil spacings all the way along the top and around the sides down the bottom as well. Um, they're tapped 1032 so A and 3's coming together now. I've got a whole lot on. I'm going to take this um, other one off so I can have a look. I really want to have a look and see what it's going to look like. Should look good. Looking forward to it. The best part of putting windscreen, pulling this uh, paper off just to have a look, make sure everything's good. Um, before I start going too far afterwards, I'll clean this completely down, um, wrap it with a heat shrink so that I don't get any damage on it. I just like to be able to see through where I'm drilling. Um, makes it a lot easier. You can see if you've got any cracks or anything that you need to watch out for. So, I'll keep peeling this off. Okay, so doors are on. And it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how it's come up. It looks pretty sleek, I reckon. So I've still got a fix the doors but uh, I fix them on but essentially they're working um, just lift it and let it go up up it goes the other one plenty of room to get in and out This back, um, I'll just put the back window in just to see what it's going to look like. There's the um, gas struts through here. And there's the tinted window on the back. So just pulled it out to clean it down.
Ya. So, like I mentioned before, it's free to subscribe. So, if you could hit that like, subscribe, and ring that bell, and follow along on the build, and I will catch you on the next one.